We from Batch 11 will going to demonstrate on how to get the vital signs accurately. The objective is to learn on how to perform the vital signs accurately. The definition of vital signs is vital sign is an alteration in body function is often reflected through a change in body temperature, the pulse, the respiration, and the blood pressure. Temperature, it is a specific degree of hotness or coolness of the body. A pulse rate, it is a measurement of the number of heartbeats per minute. And respiratory rate, it is the measurement of the number of times a person inhales and exhales per minute. And the blood pressure is the measurement of a force applied by the blood against the arterial wall. The materials that we needed in getting viral signs are a thermometer, a stethoscope, a sphygmomanometer, a cotton with alcohol, a notebook with a pen and watch with a second hand. This is an example of an electronic thermometer it will be using to get the temperature of the patient. This one is a stethoscope. It's a medical instrument for listening to the action of someone's heart or breathing. This one is a spigmomanometer. It's an instrument for measuring blood pressure. This is an example of a watch with a second hand, and it will be using to get the exact one full minute on getting pulse rate and respiratory rate of the patient. We will also need a notebook with a pen. And this will be used to write down all the results on getting the vital signs of the patient. We will also be using a cotton with alcohol. This will be used to disinfect the bulb and the body of the thermometer before and after use. The first thing that we need to do is tuck the door three times for courtesy. After entering the patient's room, tell the patient what you're going to do. Hi Miss Rose, I am MJ. I am your caregiver for today and I'm with Dr. Sapna and it's time for you to get your vital signs. First thing that we need to do is to disinfect the thermometer using the cotton with alcohol. Then disinfect the bulb to stem in circular motion. After disinfecting the bulb, check the thermometer if it's already on a low sign. Then put the thermometer inside the axilla of the patient. Then this one is a chart to check the normal temperature of the patient. While waiting for the result of the thermometer, we will get the pulse rate of the patient. The caregiver will start to get a pulse rate by putting her index and middle finger in the ulna artery on a one full minute mark. This one is a chart with the age of a normal pulse rate of the patient. After getting the pulse rate of the patient, do not remove the two fingers on the ulna artery part of the patient. The caregiver will pretend it is not yet done so she can get the respiratory rate accurately on the next one full minute by counting the rise and fall of the patient's chest. This one is a chart with the age for normal respiratory rate of the patient. After getting the pulse rate and respiratory rate of the patient, get the thermometer, disinfect it with cotton with alcohol from stem to bulb. Then proceed on getting the blood pressure of the patient by inserting cuff on the patient's left arm at least 2 to 3 inches above her brachial artery. To check the fitness of the cuff, put 2 to 3 fingers inside the cuff. Get the stethoscope, check if it's already working. Place the diaphragm of the stethoscope over the brachial artery. Then inflate the bulb more than the last blood pressure of the patient. Add at least 30 to 40 mark on the gauge from the systolic. The first loudest heartbeat that you will hear is the systolic. 
and the last loudest heartbeat that you will hear is the diastolic. This one is a chart with the age for normal blood pressure of the patient. After getting all the vital signs of the patient, tell the patient what are all the results. Miss Rose, your temperature is 35.9, your pulse rate is 74, your respiratory rate is 21, and your blood pressure is 110 over 80, and all of these are normal. After getting all of the vital signs of the patient, the caregiver will tell all the results to the doctor.